munkar. Wasbir ala ma asabak. And then, now that you do speak out, what happens to people who speak out about the right thing or speak out against something wrong? Do they get backlash? Do they get a reaction against them? Do they become targets themselves? Sure. Sure. Anybody who speaks out for justice, that happens to them. That'll happen to you. That'll certainly happen to you. Be patient over whatever happens to you. You know, one of my one of my good uh, friends, this young fellow from uh, California, he went to college in Berkeley. He started uh, this activist campaign where they have food pantries on campus in college. They have this little closet, and you can put food in there, and any student can go and eat. So there, because he realized there are a lot of students that are there on student loans or they barely got through the school on, on, on scholarship, they don't even have money to get breakfast, but they're in college, right? So he created this food pantry program and in, in California. So you could just leave food or cereal or soup or whatever in there and whoever can go in and eat it. So a lot of students that were hungry that didn't have food could go in a dignified way and kind of just take food. So you don't even know who's going to drop food off or to eat food, it's a beautiful program. And it started taking off, right? So it just started going like to every campus university in the country. And it spread like wildfire. And this kid who started it is actually a Palestinian young man out of California. And so when this program became really famous, he got invited to uh, Barbara Walters on CBS for an interview, 60 Minutes. He got invited to 60 Minutes for an interview. And he went and he took a t-shirt and he wore a t-shirt that says, I am Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> this is a giant t-shirt that says, I am Muslim. And, you know, so she interviews him and she asks him about the t-shirt. Why are you wearing this t-shirt? He goes, well, it's because of Islam that I did this. Look, Islam teaches me to, you know, to care about feeding people. And that's what motivated me. She actually has this thing about Muslims. She didn't air the interview. She didn't air the interview. Like she canned the whole thing, right? And he he told me about it, and he's like, "But it's okay. Allah says, 'Wasbir ala ma asabak. Allah says, "Be patient over whatever hits you. Just be patient. When you stand up for the right thing, you will be tested. You will be put to the test. You just have to stand through it. You have to you have to have the courage. I met a I met a family in Canada when I was there." whose sons were kicked out of school for praying. They were kicked out of school for praying. You know? And they're fighting it in court. And they're not, and they told me, we're not just fighting for our own kids, we're fighting for all the Muslim kids. Because Muslim kids have been going to those schools for years, but nobody's spoken up about the prayer. They're scared to speak up about the prayer. They just get told by the teacher, that's against policy, you can't have religion in the classroom, or in our school, this is a secular environment, it ends there. We said, no, we're gonna, our kids are going to pray. They have a right to pray. So we're going to stand up for it. Is it easy to stand in, in court against an entire school system? No. Is it easy to get support for that sort of thing? No. Easy to raise money for a chandelier at a masjid? That's easy. But easy, for, easy to raise money for an actual cause? No. But you have to do it. Be patient over whatever hits you. And this young man's in like seventh grade. And he, the confidence just oozes out of this guy. You know, like if you see like a Dragon Ball, I don't know which one, Z, GT, I don't know which one. But there's some oozy thing coming out of the guy sometimes. Like there's a little light coming out of this guy. I could see this guy, like this young kid, he's memorizing Quran. And I could just sense like this kid's, he's got the stuff. He's super saiyan. <laughs> he's, he's got the stuff, you know. That's the kind of confidence you need to have. Speak up for yourself. Stop acting like, oh, we're such a small minority. We don't have any rights. We get bullied. Stop it. Stop whining. You're Muslims. We don't whine. People will, people will never like you. Please accept that. People will never, people didn't like our prophet. He's the most likable human being on the planet. 
They didn't like him, except the fact that some things come with Islam, and one of the things that comes with Islam is, there's going to be a bunch of people, they will always be there, that just won't like you, no matter what you do, no matter how much you sell out, they still won't like you. So stop selling out, stand up for yourself, stand up for what Allah has given you. This is, uh, you know, wasbir ala ma asabak.